Getting set up to use RackLink is quick, easy, and intuitive, leading to installation overheads being minimized, there's no repeat learning cycle, and any support and downtime is minimized. Let's take a look at some of the basic system setup features. Simply click on the Setup tab on the left side navigation bar, and it defaults to device settings. In device settings, you can personalize the name of your device. Simply enter the text in the appropriate field. You can use this to provide the customer account name and number together with a uh, detailed device description if you wish. You also use the device settings to um, set the power up status of the outlets and dry contacts. You can choose to have the outlets power up on, off, or in the prior state that they were prior to the previous shutdown or outage. You can also update the firmware from this area. The TCP IP tab allows you visibility into the network settings. Here you can disable or enable DHCP if you wish to use a static IP address instead of a dynamically assigned IP address. And you can disable or enable NTP if you wish to use a network uh, time domain server. You can also set the HTT port value if you wish to access the net this device from outside. The passwords tab lets you change both the user and administrator access password together with the communication, serial communication uh, passwords for both RS-232 and TCP IP. Together, these three screens encompass the basic setup of RackLink.